I hate football. Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this. Now today we are back for another video on the channel. Now yet again another Fleetwood player has left. We've seen Shed Evans leave the football club. We've seen Joey Barton, our old manager, leave the football club. Now it's the turn of another ex-Sheffield United man, Paul Coote. Now Fleetwood again They've been poor in the last eight to ten games when there was something going on. And Coot is one of the most influential players in the dressing room. He's our captain. And rumour has it he handed in a transfer request. He's not been happy with um, the settlement at the club. He's not been happy with how Barton was and how the mood been in the changing room. And again, he was a key player for us last year. But he's one of those players, Paul Coots, where he's low risk. But he'll never give the ball away because he'll never pass, you know, 30 yards forward. He's not one of those players, you know, to get you a few goals or get you assists. But he'll keep it ticking along in midfield nicely. But, again, it, it, it's a shame that we're losing all these good players. Jim Tete set to leave for Grimsby Town. And my worry now is it financially. Are Fleetwood struggling for money? Because we've got to pay off Chad Evans for the settlement with Joe, JB. We're still paying off Joey Barton. And now we've got a big squad. And we expected fans back into October, November. That hasn't happened. And now we're in this situation where with 10 days of a window, we've lost our captain. One of our most influential players. And Paul Coos, I'll be honest with you, has been dreadful in the last five games. He's been so bad. MK Don's the other night. He didn't look interested, if I'm honest with you. The, he got nicked off the ball. He... You know, slow going forward. He got taken off at half time as well. So that tells you everything you need to know. But Paul was a good lad. He was a good player for the first year. But there is better out there. Now you look at that Fleetwood squad now. And it is, you know, low on confidence. But Paul will go to Salford City. Now Salford have a thing with Nick in. Fleetwood players have got money deserved. They've had Chris Neal in the past. They've had that. They've got Ash Hunter, Ash Easton. So they're pretty much ex Fleetwood FC, where they all go and meet up. It's like a reunion five years after or two years after they go reunion at Salford. But it's a good move. You know, Salford would have worked hard to get that move going. And now Lewis Gibbs, one of their most influential midfielders. Has been injured for some time. They've missed him. They've got Richie Tal coming back from injury. So it would be a good sign for them in League 2. I just think they need something. And there's a huge pressure at Salford to get promoted. Where Fleetwood are only going one way. And that's that way. You know. we haven't. I think we only won one game in you know nine games. We've not won a game from behind. In like over a calendar year. Two points from 30 available. We've been we've been poor and it's been not nice to watch. It's been a chore to watch. And does it need to happen for the shake up of the squad? I think so. But losing these good players will out the mood in the dressing room because you know you've lost a mate, you've lost, you know, a war veteran really. Because when you play football, you go to war. And it's like it's gonna be tough for the players to bounce back and it, it's hard to say right now how we're gonna do without him because you know, he's been one of our most influential players. He plays pretty much every game, even if he's a sub, he comes on. And again, him and Wheeling worked together well for a bit. But I don't think, you know, that partnership would have worked for her long enough. I think it was good enough for one of our midfielders to go. Um, Kent's had six months of his contract to go. And we might have got probably a small fee for him. We've got him off the wage budget and the club should be able to save some money from that. Do we think we'll replace him? I don't think so. We've got Roster and Finley. Um, that can come in as well. We've got Matetsu, but he's rumoured to go out on loan to um, Grimsby Town. Really, really bad news for town, this. But, you know, it, it's just another not another thing I expected with the pandemic, the way it's happening, the way Joey left, getting, him getting sacked. Andy Pilly's message last week was interesting that he's in no rush and his main focus is to pay the bills. I did expect... A few players to go out. We saw Tom Edwards leave the club yesterday. He was on loan. Was that financially for Fleetwood? Did we pay a lot of his wages? Again, it's worrying. And I'm just hoping that we can see it through. And just, you know, I'd be happy with mid-table. Now, I don't think we'll get the playoffs. I really don't. I just don't want to be dragged into that bottom four. And, and I wish Paul Coots luck. Good player. Good lad. And again, we've lost a good player. But 
he's not been on it the last, you know, two months. I don't think any player at Fleet we can hold their hands up and say I've been brilliant in the last two months. They've all been woeful, really. Um, a couple of good performances in a couple of games from from a few players that they can, you know, hold their heads up high. But barring that, it has been pouring. It's going to be an interesting one how it develops. Do we replace him? Can we afford to replace him? Again, Coots promotion from the Championship and promotion from League One. Can he go and get one with Salford and be a player to get, you know, promoted from all three leagues? It'd be interesting to see how it develops. But there's been my video. I, I'm devastated Coots has left uh, in a way because he was a good player. He was a good player, but probably about the right time for him to leave the football club with six months of his contract left. We'll get a small fee and we'll get him off the wage budget. Again, I'm very shocked at the news as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. We're getting close to 6,000 subscribers. Until next time, I'll see you later. Up the cods.